holding machine, and then you have to have the right molding process. And of course, the people who run it on the production floor, uh, who manage the whole process, uh, they have to understand the whole principles. And, and putting all these six things together, you will make a good molded part, okay? And the whole thing plays a very important role. If there's one thing missing in there, you will not be able to make your part um, uh, as per the your requirements that you have. And this is what I call are the six pillars to, to successful injection molding. Today, because of, um, it, it is a very short uh, um, presentation, what we are going to talk about is only the molding process and also uh, part of the injection molding machine, okay? So if you look at the next screen here, uh, the journey of the, the plastic pellet, right? If you look at the journey of the plastic pellet, the plastic enters into the facility, it goes into the molding machine, you put that where you have the molding process, the plastic then goes uh, with the set of conditions that are on the molding machine. The plastic then goes inside the mold, the molding process takes place, the part is ejected, then it goes through maybe some secondary operations, and then the finished product leaves the facility, right? So this is a typical journey of the molded, molded uh, of, the, of the plastic pellet. What we are going to try and do is that a section of this, we are going to try and understand, uh, look at, uh, um, and, and try and study, apply some scientific principles to this so that we can better control, control this process. What we are going to talk about is the molding machine, the molding process, the mo a little bit of the mold, and then the part ejection, uh, that is the post mold shrinkage studies. Okay. So that is what is also called scientific molding. The term scientific processing is a little wider, is a little wider than scientific molding. Uh, scientific molding is, was a term that was introduced by John Bozzelli, a very famous consultant, John Bozzelli and uh, Rod Grolo from RJG. And uh, they came up with the term scientific molding. And it is basically a subset of scientific processing, and, and I will talk to you guys uh, why very soon. Okay. Um, now, to, uh, 